day at the rock out here this morning heading back out to the south jetty hoping to get me some uh, nice brown rockfish oh I love the brown rockfish that's what I came over on birdie prints like bird prints are so fine that's about the best I've ever seen in the south jetty well it's a small swell but it's got a nice split <laughs> here's the bend just after that is the fishing grounds. Now I started looking for a spot. Bit of a crap of Palooza out here, but not bad. If you come out here in the summer and you haven't had the swells go over this, and no rain like we had, oh my god, you can't think from the smell. So I quit doing it. But now I thought, hey, we've had it. Small swells. Time for some brown rockfish. We're out my chunky rocks. This is where I usually take my falls. <laughs> All right. I'm not sure what I was thinking on this uh, swim bait. My jig head's too small and I had extra weight. Uh, I think I gotta rethink that. Okay, let's see if we can go catch something over there. This is quite a battle if I catch anything. Okay, back to my standard setup, or my new standard setup with the two hooks and the uh, torpedo weight. That's a three ounce torpedo weight, by the way. that area for a little while but wasn't getting any bites so I decided to cast uh, out towards the end of the jetty about 20 feet off to the side that was a perfect cast right there and see what happened Now that I've caught a few of these fish, this is a very typical of the fight. You catch it, runs down to a nice little hole, you get a little patient and pull the thing right out. Oh, 
What is it? <laughs> Whoa! This is, of course, nice brown rockfish. Woohoo! <laughs> Just what we came out for. Look at that little baby. I gotta figure out how to get back to my damn thing. Don't kick off, buddy. Brownie. I like a huge brown rockfish, but I gotta tell you, these things have some really, really fine meat. Oh, I'm gonna bleed it out. Wow. Pack it up. This nice young man paddled all the way around the front of the South Jetty. I'm sure he was out of breath when he stopped and talked to me. Waves are looking pretty good earlier in there. Should get good in an hour. Ah, is the swell going to pick up? Ah, got it. I probably should have just waved high. Anytime you're out rock fishing, you're, you're going to get snags. Just like I got one right here. But the nice thing about being on a jetty is you can uh, you can move down the jetty and uh, hopefully get behind the hook and, and pull it free. <laughs> move back a few steps. Well, I open up the bale and uh, start climbing. It's kind of like rock climbing around here sometimes with one hand. Trying to kill myself again. The line got wrapped around some rocks, so I have to get it free before I can keep moving down the jetty. Okay, now that the line's free, just move on down the jetty a little while there and get a good angle on it and uh, give it a little tug and see if you can pull it free. Well, it took a little effort to get down here, but the snag comes right off, and then uh, you can see a little piece of seaweed there where it's hooked onto it. It's probably where it was snagged. You can also see the bait's getting a little tired there. Probably time to change it. I got a little brown. Now I'm hoping for a lingcod. What's that? I got three of them yesterday. Where? Up high up. Oh, shit. One, one came off. One was a half inch short. The other one was a uh, Beautiful. I've never caught a lingcod from shore. It's keeper. I've caught small ones. I caught one up the same about 25 years ago. Damn. They tell me you can get 30 inches down there if you get the right in Montana de Oro at the right place. It was a splashing, so I couldn't quite make out his tip there. But you can see it was a busy day. It was really nice out there, so just lots of people out having fun, kayaks out in front of me.
boy. Apparently, I'll try to strike up a conversation with anything. I packed it up and moved down the jetty a little bit. Figured I'd give it one more try before heading home. Ran out of batteries on the other camera, so it's uh, just the old action cam for this fish. Put on fresh bait, and this fish hit it pretty hard as soon as I dropped it in. You can see he gave it a pretty good yank there, but I didn't really set the hook. I, it, you want like a, I, a, a few pulls to really know he's on there. This fish also managed to get down a little rock for a little bit, but we get him out. <laughs> of course, I had to show it off to the kayakers. There you go, boss. It's actually a really nice size grass. I didn't measure it, but I'm sure it was 13, 14 inches. When, I, when I'm holding it up, look how big it is compared to my hand. A little grassy? Let's compare that to the brown. I guess that was a grassy grass here, olive colored. I was going to stay a little longer, but I'm out of energy. I'm pretty sure a uh, seagull stole my lunch. And, uh, so I'm getting pretty tired. I'm going to head on. A, Yeah, that was a real nice day. Paddle all the way down. I probably should have just hiked from across over there. And I got to paddle back. No, it would have been easier to walk. <laughs> but paddling, you, you got you to cross the channel. Caught a small brown rock fish. Caught a big grassy rock fish. Uh, I just love the brown. The grasses are okay. Can't wait to get home and uh, give that a try.
Mm-hmm. 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 Mm-